So the family of Imam al Hussein, they were ordered to wait outside of Damascus so that the city can be decorated because there's going to be a huge parade tomorrow. There's going to be a parade where the family of Imam al Hussein, these so called rebels, they're going to be brought in. So they began to decorate the city. They invited guests and dignitaries from all over the world, even from the Roman Empire. Individuals who were Christian, they were invited. And then they brought in the family of Imam al Hussein on a day like this, on the first of Safar. On the first of Safar, they brought in the family of Imam al Hussein and they entered through a door by the name of Bab Tuma which is a door that is still there right now in Damascus, the family of Imam al Hussein, and along with the heads, the heads that were martyred, the heads of those shuhada on the day of Ashura, they were brought in. And Yazid was standing on a very high place in his palace, and he was looking at the heads being brought into the city, the heads on top of spears. So he began to say this poem, and this is something that is attributed to him. No one questions whether Yazid said this or not. The debate is whether Yazid is a Muslim after saying this or is he not a Muslim after saying this. He began to say, Lama badat tilka al humul wa ashraqat tilka al shumus ala ruba jayruni na'ib al gharab fa qultu sih aw lam tasih fa laqad qadaytu min al nabiy duyuni. He says, when I see the shining heads like the sun, he calls them like the suns because they were raised on the spear. The place that they were brought in was called Jairun. He heard a, cr a crow yelling or making a sound. He tells the crow, make whatever sound you want. I have taken back my debt from the Prophet. Why? What does he mean? He means that the Prophet killed my ancestors in the battle of Badr. Now I killed his own children. Once the family of Imam al-Hussein, they were brought into Damascus. They were ordered for the family to be tied up. Now throughout the whole trip, the family were not tied up to one another. They, were, they had their own individual chains on themselves but in order to take them to Yazid they were ordered for them to be tied up to each other so Imam Zain al Abidin he says I was tied with the the metal was attached to my hand and on my neck and that was attached to my aunt Sayyidah Zainab imagine the family of Rasulullah this is how they are being treated in the Muslim capital in the in, in front of a person who's claiming to be the Khalifa of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and they began to parade them through the streets and through the towns in Damascus. And the city was decorated. One of the, one of the narrators by the name of Zayd ibn Arqam. Zayd ibn Arqam, he's a Sahabi of Rasulullah. He says, I saw the head of Aba Abdullah on a spear and the long beard of Imam al Hussein." The wind was playing with the beard of Aba Abdullah, moving it to the right and to the left. And I heard the head of Imam al Hussein reciting the Quran, saying, Am hasibta anna ashab al kahfi wal raqim kanu min ayatina ajaba, faqultu ra'suka a'jab wa a'jab yabna Rasulullah. He says, I heard the head of Imam al Hussein reciting the Quran, and I said, Your head is stranger. Then the people, the story of the people of the cave. Another narrator by the name of Sahl ibn Sa'd al-Sa'adi, also a companion of Rasulullah. He says, I entered unto Sham and I saw that the city was decorated. So I asked, Is there a Eid that we don't know about? A Eid, an Islamic holiday that we don't know about? So they tell me the family of Hussein is being brought in today. He says, I said, Subhanallah, the family of Rasulullah are being paraded in the city 
and the city is considering it a day of Eid? He said, I went to the place where the family, where the, the parade was passing, and I saw a lady. She looked like she was the leader. That was Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. He says, I go to her. I tell her, Ana Sahlu ibn Sa'd al Sa'adi, min man ra'a jaddakum Rasulullah. I am Sahlu ibn Sa'd. I am from the ones who saw your grandfather Rasulullah. Alakum haja? Is there something that I could do? He says, She tells me, Ya Sahlu ibn Sa'd, do you have some money? He says, What do you need with the money? He said, She tells me, Go and give one of the guards that is carrying the head of Aba Abdullah some money. And tell him to go away from the woman. He said, let them go. Let the man take the head away from the woman. Because when people are looking at the head, they're looking at the family of Imam al Hussein as well. These are the words of Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam. This is the modesty and the chastity that Sayyidah Zainab alayhi salam displayed throughout that whole journey. So he said, I went and I give money to the guard. He takes the money and he stays where he was to show that he doesn't care about the family of Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. 